Hello everybody and welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. This is going to be a new series that I'm going to start on my channel and I'm going to marathon it, which means that I'm going to try to keep a video coming up every day and I'm going to marathon it until I finish. So I'm going to start with Five Nights at Freddy's 2 and I'm, then I'm going to play the first one, then the third, then the fourth. I'm going to be playing them in chronological order to my knowledge. I know the fourth isn't actually chronologically last. But I don't quite know where it does go. I haven't spoiled anything about the fourth game. So I'm going to blow through these as quick as I possibly can. Now as you can see, uh, it says continue night four. Um, I have actually beaten this game before. So I'm going to be, like, if you're looking for someone who doesn't know the mechanics and doesn't know what they're doing, this is not going to be the series for you. At least this um, Five Nights at Freddy's 2 because I have beaten the game. I've never beaten the sixth night or the 2020 or 1020 nights, but I have beaten the basic storyline the first five nights. So I'm just going to go ahead and get into this, and I'm going to try to blow through as many nights as quickly as I possibly can, and die as few times as I possibly can, because nobody likes some um, dying to Freddy Fazbear. Alright. Help wanted. Grand reopening. Vintage pizzeria given new life. Come be a part of the new face of Freddy Fazbear's pizza. What could go wrong? 1500 Fazbear. Alright, 12 a.m. First night. Alright, here we go. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, hello and welcome to your new summer job at the new and improved Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Fun. Uh, I'm here to talk you through some of the things you can expect to see during your first week here and to help you get started down this new and exciting career path. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you may have heard about the old location, you know. Uh, some people still have a somewhat negative impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while. But I, I want to reassure you, Fazbear Entertainment is committed to family fun and, above all, safety. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition, advanced mobility, they even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? No. <laughs> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Hey, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now that being said, no new system is without its kinks. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week but complained about conditions. <coughs> uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? No. Well, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seem to move around at night and even attempted to get into his office. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. Uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch in the system, something about the robot seeing you as an endoskeleton without a costume on and wanting to stuff you into the suit. So hey, we've given you an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on anytime and leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky modern design of the building. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> Uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Oh. Uh, you should be golden. Should uh, check the light, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Uh, keep the music box wound up. Piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Alright, so in case you guys are, um, <clears throat> in case you guys are wondering why I'm actually checking the hallway, especially on the first night when, um, Foxy isn't going to appear there most likely. Um, it's because the first time I actually played this game, um, <clears throat> I didn't check the hallway at all until like after the phone guy. I didn't do anything until after the phone guy took wind up the music box. 
And um, Golden Freddy spawned in the hallway, and I thought he was like Foxy, and that you had to flash him to make him go away, but as it turns out, that makes it worse. Much worse. So if I seem a little frantic when I'm like checking everything, um, more or less, I'm just trying to make sure that nothing is spawning that's like a hazard to me right now. It would be embarrassing to die on the first night. I know someone's in my vents, and it's likely Bonnie. Is that gonna be Chico? In the hallway? Oh, hi, Chico! Oh no, put the mask on! Put the mask on! Stay on! No, you're still there! I need to check the hallway. I need to check everything. Okay, oh, hi. I I don't I don't like you. You can uh, just move back through the hallway if you want. <clears throat> yeah, you can uh, you can get on out now. I'm not uh, I'm not too fond of your kind around here, Freddy. The reflection in his eyes is just like so creepy. Oh, you moved again. Uh, this is your profanity warning. From this point on, there will be swearing and cussing. I can't guarantee how much, but, like, for younger audiences, this is... I think I've been keeping my mouth pretty clean so far, but in horror games, I, uh, I cuss like a sailor. Is he gone? He's gone? Uh-oh, where'd he go? Fuck, I lost him! I think I'm okay tonight. And I'm sorry if I'm, like, getting quiet at times. It's because, um... Just because I've beaten the game doesn't make this game any less stressful or any less painful. So that's Bonnie or Chica getting in the vents. Okay. Who's in the hallway? Chica. Okay, so that's Bonnie in my right ear vent. Good information. Okay. So I think I'm good. In case you guys are wondering also why I'm putting my mask down every time, um, it's because in the later nights, you never know when you're at risk for that kind of jump scare, so. Yeah, I need to kind of watch myself right now. We should be almost done with this night. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Woo! Okay, so now we have to move on to the second night. Uh, hello? 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 Uh, see, I told you your first night wouldn't be a problem. You're a natural. Uh, by now I'm sure you've noticed the older models sitting in the back room. Uh, those are from the previous location, and we just use them for parts now. The idea at first was to repair them. Uh, they even started retrofitting them with some of the newer technology. But they were just so ugly, you know? And the smell. Uh, uh, so the company decided to just go in a whole new direction and make them super kid-friendly. Uh, those older ones shouldn't be able to walk around. But if they do, the whole Freddy head trick should work on them too, so whatever. Yeah, sure. Uh, I love those old characters. Uh, did you ever see Foxy the Pirate? Oh wait, Foxy. Oh yeah, Foxy. Uh, hey listen, uh, that one was always a bit twitchy. Uh, I'm not sure if the Freddy head trick will work on Foxy. Uh, if for some reason he activates during the night, and you see him standing at the far end of the hall, uh, just flash your light at him from time to time. Those older models would always get disoriented with bright light. It would cause a system restart or something. Uh, come to think of it, you might want to try that on any room where something undesirable might be. It might hold him in place for a few seconds. Uh, that glitch might have carried over to the newer models, too. 
Uh, one more thing. Don't forget the music box. I'll be honest. I never liked that puppet thing. It's always thinking, and it can go anywhere. Uh, I don't think the Freddy mask will fool it, so just don't forget the music box. Um, anyway, I'm sure it won't be a problem. Uh, have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Rule number one of Five Nights at Freddy's is don't forget the music box. Keep that shit wound up tight. Um, like, rule number two, I guess, would be, like, check the hallways. Number three would be to put your mask down every time you bring down your camera. Especially from night three onward. When you're at greater risk of uh, attracting Chica or Bonnie, Wither Chica or Wither Bonnie, than Toy Chica and Toy Bonnie. Or Toy Chica. I think, uh, whether Chica and Bonnie are active on this night, I don't think whether, I don't think, uh, whether Freddy is. These are the weather animatronics, right? Not the, these aren't Phantom or Nightmare. Oh, hi, Mangle. So Balloon Boy's in my left vent, and Toy Bonnie's in my right. Good information. Oh, there's Toy Bonnie. I can figure out just by, like, listening to the sounds who's where. Um, okay, so Toy Freddy's there. Um, that's Balloon Boy? Yeah. I need to drink the hallway. Okay, so Toy Freddy isn't moving very fast right now, which is good. Neither is Mangle. I, uh, I keep flashing the Mangle to keep it where it is, and that appears to be working. And if I catch Freddy while he's trying to move, he'll stay back. like go back down the hallway like Foxy does but he'll um he'll revert back to his previous position so I'm using a lot of flashlight it might be more beneficial to me really just to let Toy Freddy move <clears throat> yeah see if I flash him right now he'll go back he won't move I think yeah see Yeah, see if I flash him right now. He shouldn't come any closer, yeah. Oh yeah, I missed my chance. So now we gotta start putting on the mask and hit it. Okay, so that's gonna be Is that gonna be an animatronic in the fence? Yeah, Boom Boy. Boom Boy and Toy Freddy, both of which should move along pretty quickly here. Alright. The music box needs to be wound. Ah! Oh. Get out! Ah! Oh. I need to check the music box, okay? Are we good now? My luck, that's Foxy. Oh, it's Freddy again, hi. Right, it's 5 a.m., so it should be good. I'm gonna try to do uh, two nights per video. Hopefully, I don't die like at all. Um, I don't know if I'm good enough to get through this entire game without dying. But um, if I get to a night and I just kind of get stuck, um, Hello. I might do like a jump scare montage because if I get stuck, am I sure nobody's in my sevens? Yeah, okay. Now somebody is. Bonnie? No. Okay. So there's one in each vent now. I know. Don't you dare come any closer, Freddy. 
Alright, so I think I just need to let him move. I think if I let him move, I won't waste as much power on my flashlight. Because I've been keeping him there, but at the... Okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So, yeah, uh... So yeah, okay, that was uh, Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Uh, I made it to night 2, or to night 3 without dying, but all the way nights 1 and 2. I'm going to try to keep these 15 to 20 minutes-ish, not super, super long, but not too short either. Um, I, will, I will hopefully be having one come out every day. I've been having some issues. In fact, I've been, like, having so many issues. Like, if, I, if this even comes up on um, Friday like it's supposed to, I'll be extremely happy because I've been having so many errors. Um, so, I'm really hopeful I can get everything together and working, um, my green screen may not be working, my microphone may not be working so well, so, um, thank you guys for, uh, sticking with me through all my er issues and errors and all that fun stuff, but I will keep these coming up for the next, uh, couple of weeks. I'm gonna get all the way through Five Nights at Freddy's 2 if it kills me, which it, it might, and then I'm gonna move on to 1 and 3 and 4, and I've never actually played any of those. I do know the mechanics to 1, but I don't to 3 and 4. I have not spoiled anything to 4, other than what the trailer gives away, so I'm still pretty pretty new to this. I've seen gameplay of Five Nights at Freddy's 3, but I that doesn't mean I understand how it works and how to not die. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I will keep these coming up, and I will see you in the next video.